So now in this video we have the NE555 here in a stable mode. That means the output just keeps going high and low uh, forever as long as power is applied. That's because we have the capacitor wired up so that when it charges to two thirds of the supply voltage I put uh, the supply voltage to six volts to make the math easy. So we charge up to four volts while the output is high and then at that point then the output goes low the capacitor starts discharging now to uh, two volts. One third of the supply voltage and then it goes from a low to high and the cycle just keeps uh, going back and forth. You can see the capacitor charging. So that was just to show the supply voltage to show we're going uh, between one third and two thirds of the supply uh, voltage. Now we have the output which uh, falls short because we are uh, powering a load. Now you can see it does better without the uh, load. But uh, in any case we uh, are just looking at whether it goes high or low and you can see them line up right there. Well, the output is high, the capacitor is charging, and when the output is low, the capacitor is discharging. The capacitor is actually what is setting it. So we have uh, one timing resistor and a diode for charging, and then uh, one timing resistor for discharging. If we remove the uh, diode, then all of the charging current has to go through two resistors, so it's gonna take about twice as long to charge as it was before. But uh, the capacitor will discharge in the same amount of time because it's still only discharging through one resistor so that's a important thing to be aware of if you need to get a more 50% uh, duty cycle which means that it is uh, charging and discharging at the same amount of time you're gonna need a diode or some other way to uh, wire it to make that the case if you just use resistors as you can see it's gonna take longer to charge than to discharge 